Barbecue SA story begins in the mid-1960s when Carolyn and PJ were high school sweethearts back in their hometown of Buffalo, New York. They married, graduated college, and both went on to become elementary teachers. They formed a small catering business out of their home and eventually purchased the former A&W. In 2012, PJ and Carolyn decided to rebrand their business as a serious barbecue joint, hence Barbecue USA was born. Let's go inside and learn more about this fantastic establishment located in Saratoga Springs, New York. Dave, I'm Greg. How are you? Oh, hi, Greg. What are you going to order you. here at Barbecue USA today? I'm going to have the barbecue chicken. Oh, that's a specialty here. That is a good choice. It sure is. Let's place Dave's order and see how it comes out. Hi, welcome to QSA. Okay, here we are back with PJ and Phil, and they're, they're preparing the chicken. PJ, walk the folks at home through exactly what sure. you're doing here. Well, we're putting some marinated chicken halves. The halves go two and three quarters, three pounds fresh, and they've been marinating. It's a version of the uh, Cornell recipe, which is basically uh, oil, cider vinegar, salt, pepper, poultry seasoning, and egg. It was developed at Cornell University in the late 40s. Okay, because New York State Department of Ag actually went to Cornell University and asked them to help the farmers sell more chicken. So they developed a recipe for barbecue chicken. So a Robert Baker at Cornell University developed this recipe. It's called the Cornell Recipe. Oh, thank you, Mr. Baker. Thank you to Mr. Baker. Oh, very nice. They cook for about an hour and a half. Is that what it is? So it's 90 minutes? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Dave, please come and get it. Dave. Dave, oh, get Sam. Order chicken. Right, now we're here with the owners of Barbecue SA, PJ and Carolyn Davis. How are you? Great. Great. Say hello to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Getting to know you over the past couple months, it's a great story of what they have here. You get married in college, you start your own catering business, and you build into this. Tell the audience a little bit more of how you came to own Barbecue USA. When I was 18, I remember being in my home, going up to my room, writing down what I wanted to be when I grew up. Mm -hmm. The first thing was I wanted to be an attorney. The second thing I wanted to be was a DJ, and the third thing I wanted to be was a restaurant owner. So I went to college, uh, starting off to studying to be an attorney. Turned out to be a teacher instead. Mm -hmm. Great profession. Um, didn't become a DJ, but I became a restaurant man. Mm -hmm. And here we are, 31 years later. Carolyn, you started the, the small catering business out of your home, correct? Yes. And how long did that go for? Um, that ten was years. 10 years. It was 10 years. Yes. And then you came up and found this establishment, right, which was the former A&W. Yes. Right. And we're back here with Dave. Dave, how's the chicken today? Just like every day, it's always great. It's always great here, right? Everything is just a great deal here at PJ's Barbecue SA. It really is, and it's not just the food, it's the atmosphere. And uh, I have a diner's, what they call a diner's license. Yeah. And uh, if you eat here enough times, then you get a free meal periodically. Yeah. Dave, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. Enjoy your meal. Thank you so much for your time. I always do. Now we're back here with Johnny, and he's getting ready to season the Texas brisket. Johnny, walk us through the meat, the, the, where it comes from, how you get it. This is brisket here. Yes. It comes from the front part of the chest area of the cow. Okay. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm coating it with our uh, Texas brisket rub. So you massage all the seasoning Correct. in, then you throw it in the oven at what degree? Yeah, yeah, we, we cook the, the brisket around 220 degrees. For how long? For 13 hours. For 13 yep. hours, 13 wow. 13 hours we do the brisket in. I'll tell you the season, it smells so good back here. It's, it's fantastic. It's great. And we use uh, mesquite wood for the brisket. So 13 hours. 13 hours. With, with mesquite. That with is mesquite. great. Yeah. yeah. It smells so good. We've got the brisket up here on our chop station. It's a whole brisket, so what we do now is we separate the moist from the lean. The moist being the point on top and the lean being the flat on the bottom. So we just run our knife through the fat layer between the moist and the lean and we just kind of pull it apart and so you've got your lean flat here and you've got your moist point here yes number four please come and get it all right now we're here with Darrell how you doing Darrell nice to see you I'm thank you very well, much sir. how are you so I hear you're a regular here at uh, Barbecue USA I am and um, if I'm correct, you are having the 
Texas brisket. That is correct. So it's your favorite dish. What do you like so much about it? You know, I like the fact that um, it's just always moist. It's so tasty. The seasoning is awesome. Mm -hmm. And then for the most part, I have a gluten allergy. So for me, it's gluten free and it's awesome. What do you like specifically to have with your brisket? What kind of sauce is your choice? Uh, you know what? These are, uh, I think, the, the mild stuff mainly. Mild. Yeah. Can't go hot. No Too hot much. Stuff no, right now with the... No hot yeah. stuff for me. <laughs> All right, we're back here with Johnny Davis, who's preparing the ribs. Johnny, walk us through how you prepare your, sure. your delicious ribs here. These are our St. Louis style pork spare ribs. Nice. And what I'm doing now is uh, applying our signature Memphis dry rub. Memphis dry rub? Memphis style dry rub, that's right. What, is that, what does that consist of, the, the seasoning? Just yeah. a little bit of ingredients. Yeah, there's uh, salt, sugar, chili powder, nice. there's pepper, there's some ginger powder, some garlic powder. Very nice. Yeah. You got a whole plethora of exactly, fantastic yeah. seasoning. Now, how long do these cook for? Yeah, Greg. We cook the ribs for about two and a half hours, low and slow at about 250 degrees. And they cook on these racks in the smoker. The smoker is fueled by hickory wood, so we're getting a good hickory wood smoke flavor imparted in the ribs, and it also creates a very tender meat. Guest number 11, please. Come and get it. All right, now we're here with Mary. Mary, Mary all right, it's nice to meet you. Very cool. And you are having the Memphis dry rub ribs. They're so good, you'll slap your pappy. <laughs> Pat is having the Kansas City wet sauce ribs, oh, and boy, they are wet and saucy. They're probably some of the best ribs I've ever had. It's a dry rub, so mm -hmm. there's not a lot of sauce on them. Oh, I love the sauce they put on it. This Kansas City wet sauce is delicious. The meat is juicy, it's tender. The meat falls off the bone, it's just they're perfect. There's no other way I'd eat ribs. Perfect. Cornbread, what a great compliment for this I know. Meal, isn't it? Everything's you great. You can't have ribs without cornbread. You can't have this meal without the Loganberry. It's scrumptious. Of course, PJ's Crystal Beach, that sparkling Loganberry. Always great to watch down here at Barbecue USA. These are the pork shoulders. Correct. That get made into pulled pork. That's right. Okay, great. So walk us through it. Yeah. Of how you season it, how yeah. you prep it, yeah. Yeah, put it in the oven for how long and what degree. Yeah, there's not a lot of prep that goes okay. into these. Uh, basically, what you see is what you get before we do add a little bit of salt to okay. it, before we smoke it. And then from here, they'll go right into the smokers. And what type of wood do you use we're to smoke? Use, we're using hickory. And we'll cook these, again, low and slow, 12 hours on the fork shoulders at around 220 degrees. And we get to pulling it. Um, on Tuesday nights, we have our classic car nights with the beautiful old classic cars that come in around 5 o'clock. Oh, awesome. And they stay 7, 7.30, 8 o'clock every Tuesday, weather permitting. And then on Thursday, we have our bike night. You know, anywhere from like two or 300 motorcyclists here enjoying their ride here and the food. Very nice. Yeah. And that starts around 5 and also ends, you know, about 8 o'clock or so. Thank you so much Thank for your you, time. Thank it was you. great. Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs> To learn more about Barbecue USA, visit their Facebook page or visit their website at pjsbarbecuesa.com.